Are you looking for a scare without touching your wallet? Then you've clicked on the right video. Welcome everyone to Dark Corners. I'm your host Dark and in this video I will be counting down the top 5 free horror games that will keep you awake at night. Enjoy! SCP Containment Breach revolves around the SCP Foundation. SCP is short for Secure, Contain and Protect. This secret organization deals with the containment of strange artifacts, entities and locations that form a danger to the world as we know it. In the game you play as a test subject in the SCP facility. During one of the test routines involving you and involving SCP-173, a murderous entity that moves and kills its targets when they're not looking at them, the facility's power and door control systems suddenly malfunction. This allows SCP-173 and numerous other entities to escape their containment. The game tasks you with escaping the randomly generated facility and to get one of the multiple endings. Because each playthrough is a bit randomly generated, every single time you play the game it will be slightly different. Who knows what will happen in your first or second playthrough. In this first slash third person shooter, you play as Tork, a convicted prisoner who just arrived in Abbott State Penitentiary, a prison located on an island with a long and troubled history. At the start of the game you learn that Tork has been sentenced to death for the murder of his wife and two kids. He claims to have blacked out during the incident and can't remember any of it. Soon after his arrival, an earthquake shakes the prison and strange creatures and monsters kill all of the prisoners and guards nearby. Okay, Is the prison collapsing? Are we sinking into the ocean? See how? See how? What the hell is going on? Strangely enough, they do not murder Torg, but instead open his cell. Once you start taking control of the player, you are tasked with escaping the prison. During this escape you will learn of the terrible history of the island and you will find out if Tork really killed his family. This is actually kind of interesting because there are multiple endings. So depending on what you do in the game it might turn out that Tork did kill his family or maybe something else happened. I'm not gonna spoil too much, I'll let you all figure it out yourself. The game features all kinds of choices that will affect the ending and there's even a sequel and depending on what you did in this game, the sequel will also be slightly different at the beginning. Cry of Fear is a psychological first person horror game that takes place in an abandoned city. If you've ever played any of the Silent Hill games then that may sound very familiar. The game is heavily inspired by Silent Hill or at least it seems to be. In this game you play as a young man who is trying to find answers while he battles through terrifying monsters that would like to see him dead. But if everything is actually happening, if the monsters are real or just a manifestation of the player's mind, you will have to play it to figure it out. And if you are too scared to play this game by yourself, you should call yourself lucky because the game actually features a co-op campaign with a separate story. And in this campaign you can play with 3 other friends, it's really awesome. So the single player campaign and the co-op campaign are actually linked together.
I'm Scared is a short horror game that might appear to just be a beginner's project. It starts with introductory text that apologizes for any errors or glitches that the game will have. But soon after you begin playing, you will notice that this might just be a lie. The chances of the game crashing are indeed very high, but that's when the game really begins. Because if you look out of the game, you might notice strange files starting to appear on your computer. What they might hold is something I let you guys discover for yourself. Play this game at your own risk. A thousand rooms that start out innocently and soon turn into something terrifying straight out of your nightmares. That's what Spooky's Jumpscare Mansion promises you. On the surface you would never guess that this is actually a horror game, but trust me, if you venture deep enough into the mansion, you will see that this is indeed a very creepy horror game. The fact that the art style and the graphics are cute, while the game itself is actually pretty creepy, just makes it even scarier. I like to compare the game to SCP Containment Breach, I think the inspiration or the similarities are clear, except in this game it's not a facility, it's actually a mansion. So this video of course is spoiler free, so if you wanna know why this game is really creepy, make sure you download it right now and find out all the secrets for yourself. Me personally, I've only watched videos, I haven't even gotten close to seeing everything the game has to offer. So make sure you check it out. So those were the 5 entries for this list, make sure you check out all the games and if you do let me know in the comments section what you thought of them, were they really as creepy as I told you guys and while we're at it let me know in the comments section if there's any other games you would have loved to see on this list that I missed, maybe there will be another list, you never know, there's a lot of free horror games out there and while we're at it make sure you follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, I would really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more make sure you leave a like and if you want to stay updated make sure you subscribe and I hope to see you all next time. Dark. Signing out.